I was at the food bank. Uh, I always go every month and we distribute food to the needy. And uh, they, someone rushed in and said a tornado is coming and to take cover in the back of the church down low. And I jumped in my pickup and came home because I wanted to get my daughter into the cellar. I was, you know, it was heading this way. When I got here, the mother of these children dropped them off on the porch. So I got them and got them in the cellar. And then I started over to get her in the cellar, this neighbor over here, and uh, the tornado hit me in the middle of the street. It was like being held down by a giant hand. I tried to get up, I couldn't move. And uh, the, the pressure was just, it was just something holding me back. And I was trying to get up and get up on that porch over there to get out of the, out of the way. But it came directly down the street. And uh, the telephone poles on each side fell onto the ground on either side of me. And that tree fell behind me. But I luckily didn't get anything except a few uh, things hit me in the head, cut my head open. and. Uh, I had my hand open, things, I had my hand like so. And uh, when it was over, I stood up and started walking home. It seems to jump, as you can see at the end of the street, a block south of us, there are no houses, but there used to be all my neighbors live there. Those houses are gone. And if you look to the right through here, you see all those houses are gone. And it just seems like the tornado just took my shingles and skipped and went on and destroyed behind me and on up to the schools and destroyed parts of the schools where the children, by the way, were getting out of school and their parents were trying to get them home uh, right in the middle of all this tornado. Fortunately, not one person was hurt or injured other than me and, and one other lady.